Well, Miles, I want your last word on Miami at Philadelphia Sunday night, the game of the week in the NFL. Who you got? How can, how can you not be excited for this one, Peter? I mean, you're not excited for this. You don't love be a football. great game. I mean, come on. You got the, you know, last year's NFC champions against a team that Wink Martindale called the supersonic greatest show on turf. I mean, this is going to be fun. I mean, the, the, the Philadelphia defense has performed well over the course of this season. We get to see Tua Tungavailoa and Tyreek Hill in prime time, Jalen Waddle, all those great weapons that they've got over there in Miami. It's going to be a showcase game for the league. We'll see if Jalen Hurts can bounce back. You know with his competitive spirit he wants to. I, I am certainly going to be waiting all day for Sunday night uh, this weekend. I kind of like the Dolphins in this game. Yeah. Uh, and one of the reasons I like him is that I think Tua Tonga has now figured out uh, when to get rid of it, when to fight another battle. And I think he's going to do that at Lincoln Financial Field. I don't think he's going to have incredible numbers. I think he's going to make enough plays against a team that, you know, on that defense right now, uh, or I'm sorry, on that Philadelphia offense, I just don't know who to trust right now. Mm. I think, uh, you know, until Sunday, I was telling everybody Jalen Hurts will be fine. Man, you know, like Sal and I discussed in that in that little segment, uh, you know, Jalen Hurts at the end of that game is staring into space saying, what in the world is going on here? So I think as we record this on Tuesday... I will guarantee you, it's Tuesday morning, I will guarantee you that Jalen Hurts is in the facility. He's probably working out right now, but all afternoon he's going to be wondering, watching tape, talking, sticking his head into Nick Sirianni's room, into the offensive staff's room, and basically say, hey, here's what I see, what do you see? And I think this is a big, big test because, look, the Eagles are going to have to score some points. They haven't mm -hmm. been a point-scoring machine so far. Yeah. So I love this game. I like the Dolphins in it, but nothing will surprise me. Miles Simmons, thanks so much for joining me. You're doing overtime. You had a heck of a day. You were at the uh, football game on Monday night at SoFi. You wake up early Monday morning. You do the PFT show at 4 a.m. your time, and then you do this podcast. You my friend, are a horse. And you are just doing the job and getting the job done. And I just want to thank you for always being there for this podcast and being a great uh, soldier for NBC. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, it's my pleasure. There are a lot worse things that I could be doing than covering football and getting to talk about it, man. I, I love it. Miles Simmons, thank you, and thanks to everyone for listening to this episode and for experiencing, if you're on NBC Sports' YouTube page, this episode of the Peter King Podcast. And we will be looking for you again next week after Week 7 in the National Football League. Have a great week, everyone. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.